How do you wire a transformer stepping down the voltage from 480 volt all the way to 120 volt on the secondary? Today, I've got a package unit beside me. This is a package heat pump made by York, and it's a 480 volt unit. It's three phase, so it's got three phases of power coming into it and a ground wire. And I've got to step down the voltage so that we can hook up a UV bulb. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, let's get started. So we installed a brand new package heat pump here and you can see there's a UV bulb right there. We replaced the UV bulb to put a new one in it and you can see it's made by Fresh Air UV. And we need input voltage between 120 and 277. And if you're thinking, Tad, why don't you just find where the 277 is and why don't you just hook it up and be done with it? Well. There is no 277. There is no 120 to 277, and I'm going to show you that first and show you how to check it. We're going to use our meter, and we're going to check from phase to ground and then from phase to phase to measure the voltage. You can see the meter is on volts AC, all right? Volts AC, and this is where the power comes in. We've got three lugs here. That's our terminal block. So I'm going to put the meter right here, and we're going to measure from phase to phase first. So that is line two to three, and you can see it's 499. Ooh, that's kind of high. That's kind of high right there. Now, we're going to go from one to three. That's 497, and we're going to go from one to two, 496. So you can see all three phases, the voltage is different. Now I'm going to put one meter lead to the ground, and the ground is right, well, we can just put it to the cabinet. So we're going to go one to the cabinet, and then one to line one, 285, so that's over 277. Line two, that's 287. And line three, that's 286. Now, one thing you can look for is you can look for a transformer. See that transformer? It goes from 460 to 24, so we don't have 120 there. Then you can look at the other transformer. You see it says 460 on one side, and then on the other side, it says 24. So we don't have 120 volts here. The lowest voltage we have is 287. Sometimes you'll have another transformer and it'll step down to 240 or it'll step down to 120. But on this particular package heat pump, there is no voltage available to power the input required for this UV bulb. So we're gonna have to install a transformer. This is our transformer and this is our part number 5380 Mars and you can see the primary voltage can be 208, 240, 480 and then the secondary will be 120 or 24 volts. Pretty cool! So I'm going to explain to you how we're going to wire this, what wires we're going to use and then I'm going to explain to you what happens when you don't wire this correctly. All right, so we on this transformer, we've got two sets of wires, right? This set of wires, which has got four here, this is the primary, and we got three here, this is the secondary. Now, if you take a look at the transformer, it says up here, primary. Common wire is white, so we have to use the white wire, all right? This one has got to be used. This is one side of our power for our primary. Then if you look, 208 is the red wire, 240, is the orange wire and 480 is the black and red wire so if we have a primary voltage going into this transformer that's 480 we need to use the white wire and the black and red wire see that black and red so we're going to take these two wires and we're going to cut them pachink those are out of the equation now going back to the drawing board here we got our common wire for our secondary is yellow so out of the blue, black, and yellow, we have to use the yellow. That's our one side of our line. And this is one side of our power output from the secondary side of the transformer. Then we've got blue, which is 24 volts, and then black, which is 120. So the blue, we will not use, right? So we're gonna use the yellow and the black, all right? So if we were to use blue and yellow, Say we were to hook up the black and red and the white, right, to our 480. If we were to check with our meter at the blue and yellow, we would have 24 volts. 
If we were to check from yellow to black, we would have 120 volts. But depending on what voltage you need for your secondary will depend on what wire you choose. Depending on what primary voltage you have will depend on what wire you use. Don't make a mistake and use the wrong wire because if you do, the transformer is going to turn black, it's probably going to smoke, and you're going to burn it up. I've burned up a lot of transformers. A lot. Let me know in the comments if you've ever burned up a transformer. I have burned up several on one job. And that is just learning. It's learning. Sometimes the biggest mistakes are the biggest learning experiences, or they are the biggest learning experiences. And sometimes you got to tear some stuff up to learn your lesson. I've learned a lot of lessons, guys. And I'm still learning every day. So, and that's all right. We just, we just can't give up. So let's keep on moving. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to find out where we're going to take our voltage from. I'm going to go ahead and mount this transformer in place once I find out where I'm going to take my voltage from. All right. I think I know where I'm going to take my voltage from. I think I'm going to take it from right here. Purple and orange. That's going to be my primary input to my transformer. So I'm going to mount that transformer probably right there. That's an empty spot on this in this cabinet. And then I've already run my wire in for my UV bulb and we've got white, black and green. So we're going to use the white and the black to go to the yellow and the black and this will just go to ground first things first let's turn the breaker off all right breakers off there's one screw there's another screw Tram transformer is in place so I cut the two wires because there was just not enough room to go over there. So I've got the orange wires tied together with the white. And now it doesn't matter if I take the white to the purple or the white to the orange. So just in case you were wondering, now the black and red. All right, and I hope that that 499 is not too much voltage for that transformer. I am kind of leery because it is almost 500 volts. I hope it doesn't burn my transformer up. That would not be fun. Now these other two wires right here, yellow and black, we're gonna take those to these wires. So I need to strip these, all right? All right, we're gonna take the secondary, tie it in white to yellow and then other side of the line voltage for that UV bulb system black now we should have 120 volts right here at these two wires and then I need to hook up the ground wire I'll probably wait to do that I am curious if this transformer explodes yay ready moment of truth Nothing exploded. We're on the right path. Looks like we got a UV bulb that's lit. Don't stare at the light. Now let's use the meter and measure that secondary side of the transformer and see if we've got 120 volts. See exactly what that voltage is. All right, we got the meter on volts AC. Now we're gonna measure the secondary and see what we got. Oh no, it's, it's pretty much right on 120. I figured it would be higher but it's 119, so we got the voltage we need. Now, we need to tie in the ground wire, and that's it. Now I'm gonna show you how changing the primary tap on the transformer will change the secondary voltage. See this transformer? This, the primary side. This, the secondary side, right? This is 24 volts. On the primary side, you got a 575, a 460, and a common. Now the two hookups are the orange on the 460, the purple on the common. Now we're gonna measure the voltage of the secondary right here, the yellow and green. We should have around 24 volts, right? Then we're gonna move the orange wire from 460 to 575, and I'm gonna show you how the voltage changes. Then I'm gonna talk about why you should pay attention to this. All right, we're gonna take the yellow wire off right here. 
so that we can put our meter lead on there. I've got my meter on volts AC, so I'm going to go from common to 24. We're measuring the secondary side of the transformer, and it's 27, right? Now, keep that in mind, and that's with the orange wire on 460. Now I'm going to turn the breaker off and change that location of the wire to the 575. Disconnect off. Now we're going to change from the 460 to the 575. Then turn the breaker back on. Disconnect back on. Now with that wire moved, we're going to measure the voltage from common to 24 and what do we have 22 volts so what happened what happened the voltage changed the voltage went down the reason I'm telling you this is because you may have a 240 volt unit right and it may be a 208 volt unit you need to make sure you measure the input voltage because you may have to change the tap on the transformer because that is going to affect your secondary voltage and if you don't have enough secondary voltage, then that could cause an issue with your control voltage and your relays being able to energize. So on every commercial unit, whenever you install a new unit, you need that's something you need to be checking because you may not have the correct secondary voltage. Now that we've switched out the tap and put it back where it needs to go on the 460, you know we had 22 volts before we're just going to recheck one more time on the secondary side and look at that 27 volts so we did not have even 24 volts now we have the correct secondary voltage that we need to be able to energize those relays and i hope that that teaches you in the field that that's one thing you need to check especially on a new install of commercial package and this is a new install now plug up the secondary side and i'm going to put this door back on we got power to our UV light. If you guys want to learn more about UV lights, how to install, I've got a video on that down below. If you want to learn more about transformer and relays and wiring them and how they work and build a better understanding, then I'm going to drop a video down below so you can learn more about that. If you want to learn more about three-phase power and maybe what happens when you reverse three-phase power or change the phase, reverse the phase, check out the video I just put below for you to learn more about three-phase power. If you want more videos like this, check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. I've got hundreds of videos of live experience as a technician in the field to make you be a better technician. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me. Hey everyone, it's Taylor again with Project to Payment. We are super excited to be sponsoring Taddy's next giveaway, the Taddy Digest $500 Leap Day Giveaway. All you need to do to be entered is number one, comment giveaway on this video. And number two, be a member of Taddy's channel. So if you're not already, hit the join button below and choose your membership level. You'll get exclusive content from Taddy and ways to interact with him. You won't be disappointed. Then sit back, relax, and watch Taddy's live stream on February 29th to find out if you've won the $500. And as always, if you're still manually creating invoices, tracking jobs, and don't have an affordable way to take online payments, you're missing out. Check out Project to Payment using code TADDYDIGEST to get 50% off your first six months of Project to Payment. That link is in the description. Good luck on the giveaway. I hope you win.